Josh Thompson versus Patricky Pitbull in San Jose. I was really surprised when I heard about this match because it's so dangerous for Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson had a lot of time off, had an injury, was supposed to fight Michael Chandler. When you have a layoff, you want somebody who will give you that half round to kind of get back into it. Patricky Pitbull is not that guy. He hits you once and you don't know where you are. That's what happens when Patricky Pitbull connects. He has lead in both of his hands. Now, Josh Thompson, tricky, versatile, experienced, great chin, great takedown, great ground game. There are a lot of things Josh Thompson does well. If he gets his fight to the ground, if he makes about his takedown, if he makes about his kicks and his combinations, he can beat Patricky Pitbull. Patricky Pitbull is a very simple striker. He throws a really hard right, a really hard left, not a lot of setup shots. Josh Thompson has all the tools to win this fight, but what he doesn't have is any margin for error. Patricky Pitbull knows to get back against Michael Chandler, to get back that knockout he lost, he needs to devastate Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson has faced all the great names of his era. The spinning back fists, the high kicks, the flashy submission attempts, the great takedowns. He's the punk for a reason. He's smiling, he's laughing, he's sticking his tongue out while he's kicking your ass. He's having fun while you're miserable. That's what makes him great. Patricky Pitbull versus Josh Thompson to me is the number one contender fight for Michael Chandler's lightweight title.